Welcome back to early years. I am back with another interesting topic that is what influences my child's development in terms of personality, characteristic traits and their abilities. And personality. This is the first thing we have to do. Every person is different. They have different characteristics. They are different in their appearance. Um, they have like different interests and abilities and personality traits and so on. In the Madri factors, every form is the profound characteristics. There has been a lot of research, study, uh, theories and, uh, on this concept under the topic nature versus nurture in child development. Nature is ear kai. Ear kai avai idhalla vandhurudha. Illa through nurture idhu varudha. Nurture vandhurudha valarpu. Valarpu na not only uh, parenting that I am talking about. There are many other factors which I will be explaining you shortly. Some theories say that nature is solely responsible for the makeup of a person. Whereas some uh, theories say that both nature and nurture uh, results to the makeup of a person. To understand this clearly, let me give you uh, an example. Think about yourself. Think about your characteristics, your uh, personality traits, uh, your qualities and uh, your interest and so on. Do you resemble somebody in your family tree? That is from your maternal side or your paternal side. Do you resemble somebody? My father has these qualities and so I am also possessing these. Or my uh, grandfather or my mother was like this, so I am also like this. qualities And now, um, are they of the same level? Or they, uh, has there been any modification to it? If yes, to what extent they are modified and what could be the possible reasons for the modifications. Although we possess these qualities since birth, over a period of time like uh, till you grow up to your adulthood, there are so many factors that are responsible in uh, making a profound personality of yourself. Okay, the qualities specific So by nature, we mean the genetic factors or the hereditary factors, the biological components of a person, uh, that is the uh, physical features, the appearance of a person, eye color, hair color, appa madri, amma madri um, and we will tell like the, the way the body language, the mannerism of the child itself will be like that of the parent or somebody else in the family. So all these are said to be like inbuilt. Okay? And uh, even the emotional uh, quotient, the intellectual quotient also to a great extent will be the genetic contributions. If these are all said to be uh, inbuilt or mixed and matched from the inheritance, there are something else that alters or modifies, adds or takes away from these factors um, when we start growing up. Those factors are called as the nurture. So what all are there in the nurture? The environmental factors, the people in the environment, your family, people, um, your community people, your teachers, your friends, uh, the people who are you growing up with and uh, your experiences and exposures that you are uh, facing as you grow up. It will definitely have influence on your uh, nature factors. Even the parenting styles are said to influence one uh, behavior and the uh, makeup of the personality as I mentioned about. How? For example, if a child is by nature a very creative person, the environmental factors are such that uh, in accordance to building up this creativity, the, the, parent, the parenting style is like child led. So they observe the interest of the child and give them more opportunities to excel in that. So it is definitely going to boost the performance of the child in that particular uh, area. Uh, on the other hand, if Although the child is very creative and they are not getting um, enough um, nurture for the same, then that particular talent may 
also go down a bit. So what I am trying to say is although there are some genetic things that are already in a child and if you want to focus more on something or if you want to nurture something else you can definitely do it to a great extent. For example, if you think your child is very shy um, and you want to help your child to come out of the shyness and be more uh, open, uh, you will give her more opportunities such as uh, speaking in public or helping the child to participate in competitions where she can face the audience or you will even encourage your child to learn some form of art so that she can express herself much more uh, better. So these are some of the things that could help. Think about this and focus more on the qualities that you would like to encourage or the qualities that you would like to bring down in your child. If you like this video, please like, share with your friends and family, comment and also subscribe for more videos like this. Bye-bye. Time to watch it!